Hey everyone, we're about to do a playthrough for Upstream, the fifth level in the very first Crash Bandicoot game in the Insane Trilogy. Let's do this! So when you get your hands on the game, one of the things that's going to be a bit of an adjustment, but actually a really fun one, is the fact that the team's done a lot of work on making the handling with an analog stick feel super responsive and fun, and it also has the precision that is perfect for getting through these river obstacles. So as I'm going through this level, you guys gotta look at how much work Vicarious Visions has done to make these levels feel incredibly lush and so detailed, just full of these immersive graphics, filling out the world with all of this life, this foliage, and this really great water effect. In fact, the water tech was developed specifically for this title. This includes new splashes that help the player with tells. You know, example, you can see the rippling effect just as the lily pads are going to sink so you know when to jump. So spoiler alert, I unlocked this path from getting the orange gem from a later level called Generator Room. Okay, Tana Token number three, bonus level, let's do this. Alright, love these crate bounce challenges. Good to use the higher jump to get good positioning on these crates. Now, good thing to know, hold the X button to go higher when you jump off of them. You don't need to time it as you hit the crates. All right, one of the new game features here is that you need to get all of the bonus crates in order to get a perfect on the level. And you can enter the bonus stages as many times as you need to to get all of these crates. All right, so it looks like I'm missing two boxes. Here comes the secret gem path. Wait for it. All right, there are those last two crates. Now just to survive the last bit of this level. All right, let me grab this clear gem like a pro. And there you have it, folks. Nothing like a perfect run through. <laughs> 